all around the world. Are you ready for a brand new feat? Winter's here and the time is right for sumo in the street down in Tokyo. Sumo in the streets in Osaka. Sumo in the street in Nagoya. Sumo in the street in even Hokkaido. Sumo in the street. It's an invitation across the nation just for you to know some sumo stuff. They'll be laughing, singing, and even some music. We are sumo in the street in Chiba. Sumo in the street in Sapporo. Sumo in the street in Nagoya. Sumo in the street in Agano. Sumo in the street even in Saitama. Sumo in the street. Me fun. Life is a professional sumo wrestler. Hi there, it's Jeff Simon again with another um, ISAC 2018 video, and this time I'll be talking about life as a professional sumo. So, as I was alluding to in the previous video, I've been talking about this. So anyway, there's a big, like, document within the Wikipedia page about this, and I'll be talking about it and the divisions. Um, first off, a sumo wrestler leads a highly regimented way of life. The Sumo Association prescribes the behavior of the wrestlers in some detail. For example, when a serious car accident happened involving a wrestler, and that they learned that some wrestlers were too big, too big, were too big to fit behind a steel wheel, the association banned wrestlers from driving their own cars. Basically, if you break, the, break that rule, you can get fined, suspended, and of course have your single master in triple two. When entering sumo, they have to, hair, to grow their hair long to form a top knot or chonmage, C-H-O-N-M-A-G-E, similar to the samurai hair, so also the eagle period. Basically, you have to wear the, the top knot and a Japanese dress while well, in public. So anyway, to do a um, top knot, well obviously I can't do a top knot, you have to basically take long hair from the top and put it in a knot. As you can probably guess, that my top knot kind of looks cool. Like I can do a top knot in a sense, but with my hair thinning, I don't really, really can't really do it. So anyway, um, the type and quality of the Japanese car depends on the rest of rank. If you're in Jody Dine or below, you have to wear a thin cotton rub called Yukata. Yukata, Yukata. I think there's a wrestler in the top of called Yukata Ma. It's Yutaka. Oh, I thought Yutaka was the rope, but it's Yukata. Okay. Furthermore, when outside, they have to wear wooden sandals that make the click pop sound. If you're in Jody Dine or worse. If you're in Nakashita and Sandame, you can wear an overcoat over their Yukata and are well to wear straw sandals called Sori. The higher rig secretary can wear the silk robes, and the quality is significantly improved. They have to wear a better top knot called Aicho, which is a big green leaf. Similar distinctions are made in state of life. The junior wrestlers, like the lower rank wrestlers, have to get up early at 5 a.m. for training, and the secretary will start around 7 a.m. When the secretary are training, the junior wrestlers have to do many chores, such as assisting the cooked food, cleaning, preparing a bath, holding a secretary's towel, or wiping the sweat from them. Basically, the, hot, the ranking hierarchy is preserved for the order of precedence in bathing after training and eating lunch. Wrestlers are not allowed to eat breakfast and have some form of siesta or a long nap after a large lunch. The most common type of lunch is the big sumo meal chanko nabe, which is a stew of various fish, meat, and vegetables cooked at a table. I tried to have the recipe and have somebody make chakunabe, but they refused. So basically, it's eaten with rice and washed down with beer. The regimen of no breakfast and a large lunch, only by sleep, is intended to help wrestlers put on a lot of weight to come more effectively. Now, you can be the heaviest creature, but that doesn't mean anything. If you look at Konishki, he only won three titles in his lifetime. So anyway, in the afternoon, the junior wrestlers have other chores to do. And the secretary counterparts will relax or deal with fan clubs. Medical wrestlers also attend classes because their education does differ from the curriculum of their non-simple peers. 
in the evening, secretary will go out with responses so the junior wrestlers stay at home unless they have to accompany the stable master or a secretary wrestler as his manservant. A typical duty is to become the manservant for the senior member. A secretary is a number of servants, depending on the status of the stable, and in some cases, the size of the secretary. The junior wrestlers are given the most mundane tasks of clean stable, running errands, and even washing or massaging the large secretary. And the senior hand servants help the wrestler out when he goes out, if he goes out. The secretary are given their own room in the stable or live in their own apartments, like married wrestlers. In contrast, the junior wrestlers have to sleep in dormitories. Thus, the world of the senior wrestlers split broadly between the juniors, junior wrestlers who serve and secretary who will serve. Life is harsh for new recruit, to which the worst giants can be allocated in the drop of pride. However, the sumo lifestyle has negative health effects. Sumo wrestlers actually have a life expectancy between 16 and 65, which is about 10 to 15 years shorter than the average Japanese male. As a guidance work will take a toll on the wrestler's body. People, wrestlers will probably have diabetes or high blood pressure and prone to heart attacks because of their body mass. We know that the intake of alcohol can lead to liver problems and the stress on their joints can cause arthritis. Basically, the standards of weight gain are less strict and are effort to help the overall health of the wrestlers, which is pretty smart in a sense. Next up, I'll talk about the professional sumo divisions. From lowest to highest. The lowest is Jonokuchi, J O N O K U C H I. All wrestlers, apart from those who have had successful amateur careers and are given special treatment to enter Makushi Tarasandame, are in this division. In addition to the new wrestlers, this division contrasts of other recent recruits to sumo wrestling as well as some older wrestlers who are really in deep trouble because of the prolonged injury. Our new wrestlers' initial rank in the Jonakuchi division is actually determined by his performance in my, my Sumo. A tournament talks about new wrestlers when the grand tournament happens. The Jonakuchi can be between 40 and 90 Rikshi, or wrestlers, with the high point we reach for each May tournament because the number of recruits appearing in my Sumo is the largest during the March tournament when the Japanese school year ends. As with lower, the other lower divisions, wrestlers only get seven belts, so once every other day. It's the only division in which wrestlers are actually semi-regularly promoted, even with losing records. Promotions to the next highest Joni Gunn division of losing record are especially common for May because of the new influence. Next up is Joni Gunn, J-O-N-I-D-A-A. -A. And the fifth highest division. Unlike the divisions above it, there's no fixed wrestlers in this division. It's the largest division with about 200 to 250 wrestlers per grouping. As a result of the numbers and the fact that the wrestlers fight only seven times during the tournament, they basically had to have a playoff tournament on the last day of the national. Wrestlers are forbidden from wearing overcoats over their mikata, and that's where it on their feet, as I said. Basically, they'll have many of the mundane shorts. Next up is Sandame, S A N T A N M E. Now, San is actually the Japanese number for three, but it's the fourth highest division, which is weird. This level is the first break point in the treatment a wrestler receives when he rises up the rings. He's actually, when he gets Sandame, he's allowed a better quality of dress. He doesn't have to wear those clip clop sandals on his feet, wear like straw sandals, and can wear his overcoat. However, the wrestlers are in training, so they don't get a salary, they get an allowance. Basically, there's about 200 people in Sandame and they'll only get to fight seven times. In Makushita, it's the third highest division. Makushita is spelled M-A-K-U-S-H-I-T-A. -S yes, Shita, shit, whatever. Prior to the creation of Jurio, this was actually the, the second division of Lil, behind the Makuchi division. It was actually called Inside the Curtain because Shita is below and Maku is the curtain, below the curtain. In the current system, there's 120 wrestlers, 60 east, 60 west. Unlike the secretary ranks, wrestlers get seven tournaments, seven belts. It's often considered that when you are Makashita, that you're in your first step towards being a secretary. Furthermore, it's the hot, most heavily contested division because you've got younger sumo wrestlers on their way up competing against the, the veterans who have dropped in Juryo and trying to get back up. A 
key incentive is the difference between the top Nakashima spots and the lowest jury rate, basically between heaven and hell. A wrestler ranked at Nakashima or below is expected to be carried the chores for the stable and secretary. And the Cheerios actually will be served upon. So the Cheerios and the top division. So basically, they get a salary too. They, no, they get a small amount, excuse me. So basically, they're set. If you win all seven matches, you're not even going to, you get, you are not going to go to the Cheerios division. If you're ranked in the top 30 in Makashika. For anyone else, a seven dollar will guarantee you per Motion to within the 30 points. So basically, you have to go 7 0 back to back to be Jurio if you're not in the top 30. Next you go. So anyway, in the upper mode, for instance, the division, may have a match with Lesson Jurio. Maybe because of injury. Or an occasion to addition of the matches that they had. So basically, they have an 8th match, which is a result of tournament withdrawals due to secretary injuries. So Nakashita. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's, well, they call it Makashida, but it can also be used to be the four divisions below Jurio, as they are in training. Now you get the Jurio division, which is the second highest division, and has 14 wrestlers on each side, east and west. The, literal, the name literally means 10 rail which at one time was the income the wrestler ranked in this division could get. The official name of the second division is actually Ju Mane, meaning 10th placing. Ju is 10 in Japanese. 10th placing. But it's called Jurio. If you're in Jurio or above, you're a secretary. And Jurio wrestlers get a salary and get perks, meaning that they don't have to serve under their secretary um, elders. So anyway, Jurio you get 15 belts. And in the case of members of Mac when Makuchi Makuchi wrestlers pull out, Jurios near the top division will probably face a top division wrestler. And of course that counts towards the mark. So basically, um yeah, jury all happens. And then you got the famous division, the Makuchi division, M-A-K-U-U-C-H-I. It's fixed at 42 wrestlers. Or, right, according to the performance. Um, there'll be more to it, but anyway. At the top of the division are your champions, your Sanyakus, if you will. Composing of Yokozuna, Osaki, Sakurake, and Komosubi. There's usually 8 to 12 wrestlers in both ranks, with the remaining wrestlers being Makashiros, in New Map Order, the one down, Nishi Higashi. This is the only division that NHK Sumo tournaments actually have, and of course it's black is bilingual. The lower pattern is satellite. Of course, the name Makuchi is inside the curtain, basically, that you're in the top group. Um, so to explain the real Makuchi, uh, that um, so yeah, there's strict criteria for promotion in the factory names. The overview of this is that Sanyaku, as I said, was Yogazu no Saki, Sakamaki, and Kobazubi. So there's usually only like 8 to 12. I'm not sure it's dropping. Sanyaku is, literally means the three ranks because San is defined for three. But it actually is four ranks. The discrepancy arose because the Yokozuna are regarded as Osaki with a special license to wear the rope around his waist and do the ring entry ceremony. But in modern use, Sanyaku has a flexible definition. It's because the top two ranks of Yokozuna and Osaki have big differences than the lower two ranks of Sakuraki and Komazubi. So basically, there's at least one Sakuraki and Komazubi per side of the ones who get east and west. So, anyway. If there are no Yokozuna or Osaki rest listed in the rankings, there's problems. If there's more than one Yokozuna but one Oseki, the lower rank will be filled out by designating one of the Yokozuna's Yokozuna Oseki. But there's no recorded instances of there being a combined total of two Yokozuna and Oseki. 
There's a lot of privileges in Sanyaku. Any wrestler who reaches one of them is entitled to purchase a membership share in the Japanese Sumo Association, regardless of how many tournaments they spend in the Makuchi division. They may be called upon to rest represent all Sumo wrestlers on certain occasions, basically being head of the NHLPA. For example, when the president of the Sumo Association makes a formal speech, he's flanked by all the Sanyakus in the Nawashi, and they may be calling the emperor to be ring. Sanyakus are two groups. The senior groups are Yosaki, Yokosuna and Osaki. The juniors are Sakuragi and Komosuki. The former group has special promotion criteria in Haru So, anyway. However, the latter groups, Sakuragi and Komosuki, actually have lesser responsibilities. But, the big thing is that they can be eligible for one of three special prizes or Sensho based on their performance at each tournament. So I'm going to go down to from low to high. Uh, Makashira is the lowest of the five ranks in the top division. So anyway, Makiuchi wrestlers are fixed, 42 since 2004, but the number of is is not. So there could be a lot of Makashiras. Movements within the Makashira ranks can be minor or extreme based on your record. Basically, if you get a Kashi Koshi, your winning record, you might move up from the higher Makashiras. If you drop, if you go seven or below, you get a Maki Koshi, or D, you could drop Jiryo, or you could be worse than Makashira. So, for example, someone in Makashira 2 has an 87 record, and I only get one level promotion, Makashira 1. But, Kong Kurzu, Makashira 14, could actually be as high as Komisubi. That wins the usual, but it happened because Takatoriki went 13 and 2 in March 2000 from a national back to Komosuke. Makashira ranked 5 or below are likely to fight amongst themselves. And if you're not sure 1, 2, or 3, or 4, they basically have Sanyaku wrestlers, you know, the um, top 4 divisions, including the second Yukosuna. When a Makashira defeats a Yukosuna, he gets a pin Boshi. And basically gets rewarded monetarily for the victory for the remaining of his career. And of course, the rest of I mean, the audience, the are their Sabbath songs. By the way, the record for most Makashira appearances without a Sanyaku title, without a title, is 53, without going to Sanyaku, is 53 by Higunomi. H I G O N O U M I. He did 53. Tournament. He had 53 tournaments in Makashira, but didn't get to San Yaku. That was between March 93 and November 2001. Asano Waka had 52 from March 94 to May 2004, and Toyo Hibiki 52 between July 2007 and May 2017 before retiring. Minato Fuji is another um, wrestler from the 90s who also couldn't get past Makashira 2. He had 46 chances. So anyway, Komosubi, if we go up, is the fourth highest rank. It's the little lot, they call it. It is also the lowest rank when achieving Kashi Koshi is no longer sufficient to guarantee promotion to a higher rank. Basically, if you get Kashi Koshi, it will basically depend on if people fall from second rocket. But when you win 11 matches as a Komosubi, that could jump into second rocket or above. So, anyway, many purposes. The Komosuke and Sakuraki are treated together as the junior Sanyaku ranks. For wrestlers ranking this, reaching this rank, the benefits are a salary increase and can play the chairman of the Sumo Association for speeches. So, anyway, at any time, there must be at least two wrestlers at Komosuke. If circumstances require this size to three or four, you cannot be reasonably be denied a promotion. So it's actually a difficult rank to maintain, as wrestlers of this rank are likely to face every Osaki and Yokozuna in the first week of the tournament. And then you're basically facing, it's usually a Yokozuna Komosubi matchup on opening day. In Komosubi, you're basically facing the Makashira wrestlers. In the second week. 
So basically, winners with the most um, close times fee named Komosubi um, is 23 by Yia Ginyo, but that's in the 1800s. The, the actual record, the modern day record, is set by Takamiyama at 19. Now, if you actually know who Takamiyama is, he's from Hawaii. He's known as Jesse James Riley Ahulala, the first foreign born wrestler to win a half division championship in 1972. He was second rocket, never got the last set. So he had a lot of longevity records, and he had a 20 year career from 64 to 84. He actually ended up making, recruiting both Akibono and Konishiki, two wrestlers that I follow fondly and will talk about in this thing. So, basically, yeah. He helped get Hawaiian wrestlers. So, there. So, anyway, he couldn't get to Oseki because he was unable to score 10 wins or more in consecutive tournaments to get to Oseki. But he helped Kurnish Kinakibono pave the way for Hawaiian Uchi. He had a lot of cyphers in the framework from Washi. He was actually recognizable in the Japanese public. He was in several TV commercials before the Sumo Sausage were banned it. So basically, yeah, he had his own stable. And he played well for himself. He's still alive, if I'm just here. Yeah, he's 73, which is unusual for the rest of so I said to be that. Oops. So anyway, the most Komosugi appearances in Komosugi. Third is Akinoshima, 15, between November 88 and September 2000. Tochiyo-san had 14 between May 2009 and September 2017. Koto Nishiki, from September 1990 to January 1999, had 13. Eddie Mikisano Sato, the one of the current Yokozunas, he went to Komos he had 12 Komosugi appearances in a basho. And still haven't gone in the year. So yeah. Now let's talk about second Wake, the third highest ranked in professional wrestling. So basically it's the term is derived from guarding the Oseki at a side. Seki Wake. Oseki no wake. So anyway, it represents the highest ranked wrestling can achieve by continuously making Kashi Koshi in turn. So basically if you're eleven you have 11 or more wins as a Komosubi, you're basically a second walk So there's special promotion criteria. You have to get three, a minimum of 33 wins in three tournaments, slash three, 11 per tournament, from second walk to So yeah. So unlike a second year Kazuna, a wrestler will pretty much lose the rank immediately if he goes below 500. Very occasionally, a second wake will be seven and eight because if anyone if they can't find anyone to replace to replace him with second wake, there's trouble. This has happened five times since 1958. Guido in 2013 was the lucky last lucky one. So anyway, uh, the most second wake appearances in history was held by Tamagaki, 25, but that was in the 1800s. The current the Modern day record is Koto Mizuki, 22 between January 2001 and July 2007. Um, Kaio, another legendary sumo who had like a thousand wins in the top, in, in sumo in history, who lasted like for 20 plus years and who I put as one of my sumo komi 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 names, had 21 second walkies in his career between January 1985 and July 2000. Koto Nishiki had 21 second walk appearances. Lusu Yama had 20 between 94 and 2000. Tachasuma, Wakano Sato, even Guido. Guido had 15 second blockades. Well, he hasn't been able to, but he's no second. And finally is the Oseki, well, second, second lowest is Oseki, which is below Yokozuna in the ranking system. Until Yokozuna was introduced, Oseki was the highest ranked attainable. So, yeah. 
So anyway, it's a multi-termed process to be in the second. Basically, through a second rocket, you have to have 33 wins over three tournaments. So yeah, it's hard sometimes. Other factors are tangible, such as winning a tournament or defeating Yukozuna. So anyway, you can be devoted from those seconds. If you're no, if you're a seki, relegation is two steps. First, you have to be, have a Makikoshi or lose record. He's now Kanabon. So basically, if he gets Ashikoshi, he's back to a seki. But if you drop below 500, when you're Kanabon, you're relegated to second wake. And that's the most you can do. But of course, you have to go 33 title, 33 wins in three tournaments to go back to second wake. Unless no one can do it. If he wins 10 or more, he's restored to a seki. So, yeah. The benefits to be a seki is a higher rank in the Sumo Association, three year temporary membership with the Sumo Association on his retirement if he doesn't want to share. Uh, parking space, um, can vote in elections, he can wear Kaicho Malashi and a sword pair for you to see that main entrance. There's only two active Oseki, Kuedo and Takayasu. Actually, this page has actually not been set up yet. Because technically there's been a couple of problems. Or am I wrong? But anyway, the biggest move is Yokozuna. It's the top rank. You can't get topped, you can't get knocked off at any point. They, he were, this, the Yokozuna has to wear a rope that weighs up to 44 pounds for the Doyo Uri Uri entrance. And 72 Yokozunas have happened. So basically, a lot of history and all of that, but anyway. There was a lot of Yokozunas and all that. Criteria to be Yokozuna. Simple. In modern sumo, you have to win two straight titles or come close. To doing well. Well, that's a de facto. You have to win two championships in the whole second year as equivalent. So that's hard. So, yeah, there's been some problems of being promoted. King Gaku or being with being Grace is more contentious. A lot of people say that it's subjective because Konishki, who I'll talk about later, in particular, was actually felt by a lot of people to be unfairly kept from Yokozuna because he wasn't Japanese, he was from Hawaii. And many civil association members said that foreigners can never achieve the dignity grace that Yokozuna does. Although a lot of people said Konishki's weight was also a problem. Konishki all may have said something to a New York reporter about because he's not Japanese, he's not a Yokozuna, but that's up for debate. There's a lot of um, wrestlers were held back. Chiyono Yama in the 50s was actually not really promoted because of his youth. Although he got it. Kuto Okura was actually given Yokozuna um, reign despite his immaturity, as I said. Unfortunately, Kuto Okura got himself into a lot of deep trouble because his immaturity screwed up and he had several misbehaviors. And he actually hit a manservant in such a way that six of his seven left him. Unfortunately, there was another fiasco because he had a fight with Tatsu Nami, his stable boss, and actually struck his wife. Basically, Futa Girl was forced out of Sumo, and he never won a top division title as a Yokozuna, the only Yokozuna in history. Akibono was actually promoted to Yokozuna in 1993. Finally, even foreigners can do such a thing. But five of the eight um, Yokozuna after Akibono were not born in Japan. It was actually Mario, it was also Mishoru, Akibono, and Fujin Kakaru. You have a multi state process to be Yokozuna. And they have to talk about the events, the criteria, and all that. So, anyway, Yokozuna is actually expected to retire if he cannot compete at the top of his game and all that. 
So there's a lot of yoga sutra um, traditions. I won't get too much into it. There's three active yoga sutra: Hakuho, Kakuru, and Kisana Sato. Hakuho has been around the yoga sutra ranks for ten, almost eleven years. It will be that in May if he stays healthy. So anyway, that's all I got for this one. Um, I will talk about sumo terms and sumo record holders in the next video. Later.